everyone it's casters here and oh my gosh those raptors are loud <laughs> how's it going how's it going uh, I'm doing pretty good I'm having a good morning check it out guys we got moobs a friend we got moobs a friend you know he wanted one he told me he wanted one and we just had to get him one so everybody meet Satchmo <laughs> Satchmo the Gigantopithecus. I can say it now, guys. I can say it now. I haven't been too sure what to crank on these guys, so I've just kind of been cranking their melee damage. I figure they can kind of be beastly. And, you know, if I see higher level ones, I'll totally tame them. I'll totally tame them. Um, but yeah. Just here, playing a little bit of Ark, Survival Evolved. And I just did a bunch of kind of chitin hunting on chompers back at the tribe base just got back to the homestead and we'll get away from those super noisy raptors and put our oil in the fabricator oh my gosh you guys get to be here while we do some organizational kind of things super exciting not really <laughs> um so yeah we have been doing kind of a lot of hunting lately and we've got a little bit of that chitin and keratin kind of stuff built up and not really any stone but that's okay because check it out guys we're kind of like rich we kind of have a lot of cementing paste right now um so what i think that we really need to do is go up to the mountain now in preparation to go up to the mountain i did tame a couple of birdies all right so you guys already know archibald eagle how's it going archie you're so cool. I love you, man. And here is one of our new additions. Here is Edgar. Now, he's named Edgar after, like, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, just because whenever I see a raven, I think of him. And I know this kind of looks more like a falcon because of the white and red. But I just like to think he looks kind of like a bloody, bloody kind of giant raven kind of a thing. So his name is Edgar. And he's cool. I like him. Um, I got I got a couple of these Argentavi. I is that the plural? I don't know. Uh, but I got a couple of these guys so that we can carry more stuff down from the mountains, stay up there longer. Uh, you guys know Ruby. Ruby Tuesday. What up, Ruby? I love Ruby. And this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, this guy is so awesome. Um, let's get him to follow us. Here, we'll take Ruby's saddle. And I want to show you, right when I saw him, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like he's on fire. He is so brilliant. And if I can get out of this bird tank, bird cage tank, whatever. <laughs> bird tank. It's like an aquarium for birds. Do you have any aquatic birds? Uh, me neither. But yeah, here we go. Here is Phoenix. He is so cool, man. He's like orange on his head, yellow belly red wings and a yellow tail so yeah phoenix man phoenix he is so cool uh he was like a level 29 when i knocked him out he was hitting me super hard i was like oh man he's gonna like he's gonna hurt me man and i uh, got him knocked out got him tamed super quick with kibble got plus 14 on that team so he came out at level 43 so that's like super cool He's going to be like our main bird man just because he's going to be super high level, super quick. Oh, those were my stats. Uh, he's only leveled twice, and look, he's already at like a 1,000 health. He's got over a 1,000 stamina. We're talking an awesome bird here. It's kind of a bummer. It looks like when he got those 14 extra levels, a ton of them totally got wasted and dumped into this. They got dumped into the food stat, guys. Why? Why? You don't need that much food. Um... Phoenix, you don't. You just don't, man. So let's really quickly, we'll fly over here, grab this purple drop together. So yeah, got those two birds, and I think what we're gonna do is take a trip up to the mountain and get as much metal and stuff that we can carry. Um, I, I kind of was contemplating making a sky forage up there, and I think I still will. Um, 
And maybe we'll do that today. I don't really know. I don't really know if I'm going to just go up there and kind of hack away at the metal and stuff. Um, thinking about it just because I have like zero metal. I don't even have metal to repair my tools when they break. And that's never very good. It's not good to have like four metal ingots left. <laughs> so yeah, let's grab all the birds and boogie on up to the mountain, man. Get! Come on! Let's go. Phoenix! Like Joaquin Phoenix? Are you gonna be a rapper? Are you gonna quit your acting career and be a raptor? Or a raptor? And be an actor? Or I mean a rapper? Wow, I'm totally tongue tied, man! Whatever. It must be because of how cool he looks. Can't even talk. I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Oh my gosh, now I'm talking like an 80 year old. <laughs> Alright, before we leave, let's get a couple of stacks of meat onto Phoenix here, just so that he can carry us. We don't want him to, like, run out of stams and fall to the ground. And we've got all the Argentavis following us. And now we're ready to go up to the mountain, man. Super And it's, like, super foggy. Are you even kidding me? Are you even kidding are you even kidding? BRB super quick. And we're back. All right, the fog finally cleared and we are almost up to the mountain. Here we are. Um, I really like this mountain, guys. This mountain's super close to my base. Um, and it's just a lot better than the other mountain that we had been at the entire time we were at the tribe base. It's just super, look at, look at the metal. It's like a road of metal once we get up here. Gotta make sure there's no crazy, crazy carnivores up here first. Um, so this area right here, I want to build. I want to build like a, an array of refining forages, but I need to find a good spot to do so. Okay, seriously, birds? Seriously now? Woo! All right, we're jumping. We're jumping off you. Oh, no, no. Phoenix! All right, everybody follow me. It's, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a swarm of birds in my face. Ah, don't poop on me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just up here on the mountain, going to gather a ton of stuff. And um, I might build a couple of platforms with a bunch of forages so we can actually just refine while we're up here. Uh, you know what? On second thought, no, though, because cause then I will need to, uh, to harvest with the axe. And my axe is almost broken. And I really need to get the metal refining so I can actually repair it. So we would definitely will add kind of a sky forge thing going on up here, but it's not going to be right now. Um, it'll probably be when we start working on our fence that goes around the perimeter of the structure. Planning on making that out of metal, um, just so it doesn't get broken. All right, so we've got our first encumbered thing happen here. Just put that on the birds. Oh yeah, this mountain is amazing. I love this. It's like, look at, it's like the golden path. Instead of the yellow brick road, it's the yellow boulder road. I'm, I'm so creative and wonderful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just going to be up here harvesting all the metal that the four birds can now carry. And we'll be our bees when we're back down at the homestead once again. Um, and have the metal cooked up, ready to make some floors, see how far we can get with it. So yeah, BRB. Oh my gosh, we just get back home and a raptor attacks my pack. Now, Topanga, why? Topanga is like in my house. All right, and we're back from the mountain. Birds are all pretty much weighed down. Um, we have a lot of metal. We have a lot of metal and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to move here at one time. For right now, we're just gonna kind of dump some of the heavier items um, onto this guy here, onto Phoenix, and see how much metal we can grab. Is that enough to move? No. Okay, so we can't we can't carry that much. We'll try like two thirds of what we were carrying, or a fourth. I'm I'm good at math, man. I'm a math whiz, the wizard of math. Chuck the metal in ha. And we'll light that fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Sorry. Every time I ever light a forage in this game, I'm always thinking of the doors. 
take a 33. Um, and we know that that's too much. Split it into fourths and bam, 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 bam. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be running this metal back and forth, and then I need to reorganize absolutely everybody, because everyone got in a super bunch, and I had to push the forbidden J key and have everyone follow me to get them unbunched and stuck from where they were. And now everything is like a crazy hot mess out there, man. Uh, before we run any more of that metal, we are gonna run some of... I think we have some wood. Yes, we have some wood in here. So we'll go ahead and load up the furnaces so that we've got enough fuel to kind of keep that all going. Bam, ba, bam. And we'll go with 50 there. 50 back here. All right, so we keep running the metal. Uh, got that other Sasquatch. I've been keeping an eye out for a female Squatch. I really want to get one so that my AP guys... Oh, everyone is so ugly and bunched up. Oh, the Dino Ranch. The Serenity. It's ruined. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to find a, a she Squatch. A Squatch woman. I don't know what you call them. Uh, looks like we got a nice amount of stone when we were doing the stuff, too. So, yeah, I'll BRB super quick, get this metal all cooking, and I think once that is done, we'll come back. We'll see how many floors we can actually craft up here and how much we can get replaced on what's left of the wooden floor. It's gonna be looking snazzy! Oh my gosh! How did this happen? How did this happen? How did this even happen? Look at this. It's like the edge of my toe must be on Franklin's tail. Oh my gosh! How am I on such a little tiny turtle tail? <laughs> Alright, and we are back. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm punching the air. So, while we were waiting, I collect a little bit more stone. Got two more forges going on in here because... Cooking up like a thousand metal takes forever. And I had two more mortar, mortar and pestles already ready. So I figured I would add those for like some symmetry kind of things. Because I like things to look nice. And that's looking pretty nice. That's looking pretty organized. So let's go ahead. We'll take a peek here. Oh, there's no way I can carry all that. Let's just, we'll move 63 for now. Uh, we're going to just start transferring some of our metal over to the smithy. See how many floors we can craft up. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to finish this room with what we've got, but I don't think that we'll be able to do much with the kitchen today. I don't think I don't think the kitchen floor is going to get finished. I think that might need to stay a little a little crapful for probably another episode or so. Just because, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get a whole bunch more chitin and keratin kind of things to, uh, to make more cementing paste. And I'm not sure that the 175, that the 174 that we have is going to get us too, too far. Hopefully, but I'm kind of, I'm a little skeptical. And I just kind of got these guys cooking, so there's not quite as much in there. Pop in it. Let's do this. Structures, metal, the floor. Craft all six. And we'll watch our supplies disappear before our eyes. Oh man! Mad rhymes. Mad rhymes. The only, like, one of the great things about this, though, is you do get, like, a lot of experience. Is it day yet? Okay, I think it is day. So let's go down. We'll go down to at least gamma three, because, you know, that was, like... I hate going into the menu when you're in Gamma 4. It's so super bright town. <laughs> it's like kind of blinding. All right, how many? We got six. Take those out. Take out the metal floors. Let's see how many of these guys we can place here. Oh my gosh, now we're encumbered from all the wood kind of stuff. Um, we'll just put half in there. The other half in there. 
Well, I guess it'd be a quarter because I had 200, but you know, I was saying like half of that stack, you know. You guys picking up what I'm putting down? You reading the same book that I'm reading? Alright, so this is six floors. Oh man, we're not even gonna have enough to get this floor done. For cereal. I'm pretty sure it's for cereal. Ah oh, man! Maybe. We might be able to get like two floors or something. But yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven more floors to do. So we gotta get about the same amount of metal we just got to finish this floor up. And then about twice the amount of metal we just got to finish this floor up. So yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing today, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end it here for today. And uh, here, I gotta look at you guys. Can you hear that rainstorm? The soft pitter patter of the rain? Let's get close. Let's get closer. Alright guys, I hope you have a great, great rest of your day. I will too, even though it's just going to be grinding out stone and cementing paste and all those sorts of things. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you next time, and this is Cassers. Out.